All right, here's my top five recommendations for soaps that I don't recommend. So I've been trying out a lot of new soaps the last few months from Dr. Squatch, Sudsy Bear, Oh So Dapper Soap, Sud Stud, Bearsville, Outlaw, and Art of Soap. And I've come across mostly average to decent scents, some pretty good scents, some that are really good, and a few that are really bad. Most of you who have watched my Dr. Squatch reviews probably think you know what's going to be my number one stinkiest soap, but you're actually wrong. Because there's a new stinky king in town, and I don't see him getting the thrones for a long, long time, if ever. Now, even though these scents may reek, they are quality soaps made from natural ingredients. They just stink. Coming in at number five, Jurassic Earth from Sudsy Bear. Now, I recently tried Sudsy Bear for the first time and raved about how awesome their blueberries and cream is. And they have 31 soaps in their catalog, and I now have 29 of those. And most of them I really like a lot, but there are a few that I don't care for, and Jurassic Earth is the one that I like the least. I, I don't like the way it smells. I think it stinks. Not as bad as the other offenders on this list, but it is stinky nonetheless. Jacob, the owner of Sudsy Bear, told me in advance that this does have a very distinctive scent and it's not for everyone, and he was definitely right about that. It has a bit of an earthy scent, but smells like burning charcoal, like ashes, combined with a bit of hickory, like a hint of sausage. Underneath all that, it has a very subtle clean scent, like a hint of pine, but it's buried under the overpowering charcoal scent. The charcoal scent dominates this bar. I think if the charcoal was toned down and the pine was stronger and there was more of a balance, I think this bar would smell a lot better. Like Dr. Squatch's Dark Side Scrub, it also has a strong charcoal scent, but it's balanced by some type of fruit scent. I think it's chokeberry powder, and it actually smells pretty good. But I will say, this bar has really good ingredients. It's very gritty and heavy on the exfoliant and provides a really deep clean. Here, I'll show you up close what it looks like. You can see the poppy seeds in the oatmeal exfoliant. I think that's why a lot of customers like it for the performance, but not for the smell. But the smell is a little better since I used it in the shower and lathered it up. I still don't care for it, but the charcoal is a bit toned down. But before we move on to number four, let me recommend a bar from Sudsy Bear that does get the smoke scent just right. And that is Smoky Mountain Fog. This one smells amazing. This is an original soap from Sudsy Bear that has a totally unique scent. I haven't smelled anything quite like it. You can definitely smell a smoky scent, but it's not dominating or overpowering. It's balanced with a really nice fresh scent. A fresh scent similar to Fresh Falls by Dr. Squatch. Fresh Falls is one of my favorite soaps I've ever used, so that's a big compliment. And I think Smoky Mountain Fog is even better than Fresh Falls. I'd say this smells a bit like a Smoky Fresh Falls cologne. It's just, it's totally unique. If you have not tried this yet, seriously, go to Sudsy Bear and buy this bar. It's that good, and I'm confident that you're going to love it as well. I'll leave a link in the description to the Sudsy Bear website. When you click on that link, you can get $5 off your order. And if you're a first-time customer, you can use promo code WELCOMESB20 to get 20% off your first order. I think you can use my $5 off link and get the 20% off, but I'm not positive about that. You can try it and see. If not, you can use one or the other. If you have a smaller order, it would probably be better to use my $5 off coupon. If you have a bigger order, it'd probably be better to use the promo code and get 20% off. But either way, you need to go get this bar. Just trust me and do it. And let me know in the comments what you think after you use it. Number four, Birchwood Breeze from Dr. Squatch. 
When I first smelled this out of the box, I thought it smelled okay. I thought it was decent, but once you lather it up and use it in the shower, it packs a donkey kick to your senses and not in a good way. The scent is much stronger than it needs to be. The scent reminds me of this Chubal baby aspirin I took a few times as a kid. It's hard to describe, but this scent makes me sick to my stomach. As of now, it's been about a year since I've used it, so the scent has faded, so it's a lot more tolerable. So right now, the scent doesn't bother me as much, but if I were to take this and lather it up, then it would wreak and wreak havoc all over my bathroom all over again. All right, and now we're getting to the really bad stuff. Number three, Smoke and Clove by Bearsville. This scent is awful. It reminds me of a smoky pickle. Like half the bar is smoke and the other half is dill pickle. Not a good combination. Ugh, this smells like one of those stinky April Fool gag gifts that are supposed to gross you out. Ugh, ugh, ugh. There's really not much else to say about this one. I did not dare to use this one in the shower because I can only imagine how stinky it is once it's lathered up. And number two, Spartan Scrub from Dr. Squatch. Please don't make me have to smell this one again. The things I do for you. Ugh. Number two, Spartan Scrub from Dr. Squatch. If you don't know what it looks like, too bad, because I'm not taking it out of the package. It has like a greenish brown scent. It looks like vomit. Smells like it too. So this one is hard to describe, but I imagine there's a wing in hell that smells like this. It has a strong, smoky scent combined with another scent that I can't quite pinpoint, but they don't go well together at all. It's like a sour scent, almost like a vinegar or something. It's just awful. And then there's this sweet bottom note. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. It smells kind of like banana bread or something. And it's not too bad. But the problem is, is that it's buried and dominated by this smoky sour scent. And the sweeter bottom note is actually decent. But when combined with the middle and top repulsive notes... This is a recipe going wrong and it makes me nauseous. And I just want to put this up and get this away from me. Ugh. Good riddance. And speaking of nauseous, coming in at number one and absolutely putting Spartan Scrub to shame, which is hard to do, the number one stinky soap is... Outlaw's Garage from Outlaw. The reason I am showing you an image of the soap from the Outlaw website instead of physically displaying it to you myself is because I no longer have the soap. It stunk so bad I had to get it out of my house. I had to toss it in the garbage and I don't mean the garbage can inside where most of my garbage goes. I mean the garbage can outside. So that's why I don't have the bar to show you. The stench was so bad, it was making me sick to my stomach, and I literally felt like I was going to throw up if I endured it much longer. The soap literally smelled like gasoline, and I am not even joking. I am not exaggerating for effect. I am not embellishing at all. It literally smells exactly like gasoline. It is the foulest soap I have ever smelled in my entire life. Like I said, it was so bad, I had to throw it away in the garbage can outside. I can no longer stand the lingering scent. 
But hey, maybe it'd be a good idea to keep a bar of this tucked away in your house somewhere for emergencies. Like if you were to accidentally ingest poison or something you're not supposed to, you could just whip out a bar of Outlaw's Garage, take a sniff of it, and it would induce vomiting. The only problem is, once you smell it for a moment, you may actually prefer the poison. Or if a burglar broke into your house, you could grab your bar of Outlaw's Garage and toss it at him, and the intruder would be, would be sure to flee from your home. <laughs> but after you smell the soap, you may flee your home along with the burglar. So I got the sampler pack from Outlaw, and there were eight soaps that came in the package, and I did not like any of them. The three best scents were only okay. They weren't even good, and the other five were all gross. And of course, Outlaw's Garage was the worst offender. I ended up tossing out the entire sampler pack because I just didn't like any of them. I guess I just don't like whatever base fragrance they use in all of their soaps. But on one positive note, props to Outlaw's customer service. When I wrote to them and told them I didn't like any of the scents in the sampler pack, they gave me a full refund. So credit to them for excellent customer service. I'm sure they're used to people asking for a refund. So that's about it for this video. Let me know in the comments which soaps you think are the stinkiest. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.